I'm Lady Aska, and today we want to talk about a little update that VWorld Studio received recently. As you guys may or may not know, I waited for this for over a year. Maybe not everyone is as excited about this as me, but if you want a free VWorld poser, this will be amazing news. So let's go! In VWorld Studio, we head to the photo booth option, the little camera icon on the top right, and select poses and animation on the left. Instead of selecting one of the animation presets, we select the posing option from the drop down menu. We can select from some preset poses or make our own from scratch using the controllers on the model. We can also select some preset poses for our hands. And now the great app that I was talking about. You can save poses now and load them back in here. So if you don't want to invest in a paid posing app, like the VRAM Posing Desktop for example, which I personally enjoy very much, Revoid Studio got your back now. And it will be way easier to swap out models or just hair and clothes, which you can't do in VRAM Posing Desktop without loading up a completely new model obviously. I also think that posing here is a bit more intuitive as you are dragging the parts around like you would the puppet. And I think that's a great plus for beginners that get confused by all the XYZ movements you can do in VRM Posing Desktop. And what would you even use the posing option, you may ask? If you work on your own promotional material, for example, like let's say an Easter holiday card, then the poser is a great way to create these. Let's quickly set one up so you can see the output quality as well. And don't forget that you can also change the background, which includes a transparent option if you put the alpha values here to zero. Also, you can move your character within the space by pressing shift plus the left mouse button and dragging your avatar around. This makes it much easier to align your character with whatever background you have. If I would name one thing I still don't like about the poser, it's the fact that you can't ZTL plus Z to undo your last move because the poser can go rough pretty fast. And then you better save your last beautiful setup already. Another bad point is obviously that you would miss out on the extra face sliders if your VRM model had the extra HANA tool blend shapes, which you can access over the VRM posing desktop, but not here obviously to change your face expression. Though given it's more for beginners and free, I still think you can do a whole lot here. Same as in VRM posing desktop, you can also adjust the preset size and the pick size up to 8K for the best quality. Something that I notice here is that saving the 8K picture is much smoother than on VR Imposing Desktop, where my PC will visibly stutter at times and the quality looks exactly the same, as you can see here. What is missing here obviously is an accessory feature, like you have in the VR Imposing Desktop app, where you can add 3D objects to your model and scene, and keep in mind that this here is literally just a posing feature. So your avatar won't export in these poses. It's just a fun photo booth option, as the name suggests. I used this in the beginning to create my thumbnails for my videos, for example. To put your picture together, don't forget that you also got some pretty neat light effects and effects in general that you should make use of. A little heads up about the light though. My friend found out a little bug that if you set the light option here to something else than white, it will actually take over to the edit mode, so be aware of that and reset your light settings from the photo booth option before you go back into edit mode and maybe export. Let me know in the comments if you ever use the photo booth option and for what. I see you guys on the next one. Subscribe for more tutorials and VRoid updates. I hope you have a wonderful day.